out of bed. Right guys, morning. It's Monday morning, so we're just um, back on that job that I released a video yesterday um, about us replacing the hard drive. We're actually back there today, which is coincidence. Um, so this video will probably come out uh, either this week or next week, depending on how much time I have. Like I say, I only do this really to release videos on the, on the website, so people go on our website, go, oh, we're looking for a plumber. Oh, well, these guys look good because they can actually see us physically working. So trying to create that trust between the, the customer and the, the tradesman. You know, there is such a lack of trust between um, the tradesman and the customer and vice versa. The customers don't trust the tradesmen, the tradesmen don't trust the customers. Um, because sadly, all of us have been burnt. You know, the amount of times that, and again, I'll go into this later, that I have personally been screwed is ridiculous um, the and I'll go into it how I actually got my money back from one of them and if they're watching this my apologies I don't do business like that normally but when you're desperate you've got to do what you've got to do and it turns out we were both screwed by this person um, so there's that and then you also got the, tr the tradesmen that go out and you know they, they charge you know you know, three grand for a boiler that cost them 400 quid, saying they're putting in the best boiler in the world when they're not, you know. You know, there's nothing wrong with charging three, four, five thousand pound, whatever it is for a, a boiler change, if you're fitting the best boiler on the market. You know, if you're fitting a Worcester 8000 that costs you almost pretty much two grand, you know, and then charging someone, a, you know, you know, the, the fair, fair price to fit that, then fine. Also vice versa, if a landlord just wants a cheap boiler and you, for example, fit a glowworm compact, and you again do you know charge a, a fair amount of money for that type of boiler then that's fair but charging Worcester money and then fitting like a, a heat line or a glowworm or, or a cheaper boiler that's just not cool um, or, or just doing dangerous work or just shoddy work and every, we've all been in that situation so that's what we're trying to do create trust um, on between us and our customers so customers can see what we do and who we are um, we, we try to be honest with people and it, it, things don't always go right and sometimes we have to communicate with a customer and you know and explain what, you know what the issues are and how we can try to resolve it and sometimes we can't resolve it you know and sometimes it costs us money and sometimes it costs the tenant the, the customer a bit more money but as long as we're open and honest with each other and fair with each other that's what, that's what we aim to do so yeah so today I'm in here doing some work uh, and I'll go through what we're gonna do when I get in there all right nice Right guys, so what we've got on today is, so we're just replacing that drain off. Um, just replacing the inside because that's dripping. And then we're also just replacing that there. So we're gonna, I don't think we can turn this off outside. Um, I'm just gonna check, but if I can't, then I'm just gonna cut it up here and then we'll just put one up here. So we've got a couple of lead locks and worst case scenario, um, one of those universal um, connectors. These work really well, but they are, I think like 25 quid or something ridiculous, so it's a mad price. Okay, so we just cut cut our lead pipe out, always a nervous moment. So I tried turning this off outside, but no luck. So like I say, we're just gonna have to um, just leave that one in and then just put a new one in here. Um, like I say, so this is our old lead here. So yeah, right, let's get that going and I will see you in a minute. Boom, boom. Okay, so that was a pain. So I managed to get the lead lock on, so we obviously ground this down, put that on, water's back on, and seems to be all right, but I really don't like these fittings. Um, they're just a bit of a pain to get on, and I just never, they always seem to little, little weep a little bit, you know? Um, but we'll 
that's the first job. So I'm, I'm here for a few hours anyway. So we'll keep an eye on that for the next few hours. Obviously, I've got to get another one to go up there. Um, I've got another one, but it ain't. It's got to go up that size, so that way. Obviously, we'll put a. We were uh, depending on the pressure. The pressure is good enough. We'll put in a a um, check valve and then a drain off. But we'll see what see what we've got. Right, and I'll see you in a bit. Right, so this is almost done. So we've done the water main, so I can show you now. So we've obviously got our lead lock there. These are absolute pain. Um, water main, check valve, drain off, another lead lock. Obviously that goes up, so it's difficult to change that into copper. Don't do what I just did just now. I have them around the wrong way and then try to drain it because that won't let it do it. So that's that there, pretty much done, no leaks. Um, on to the next one. So we've also changed the filling loop. Um, so that's been replaced there. Pressure's now back up. I've still got to bleed the radiators. Now what we've got to do is change those taps there. In there. But as you can see, that's three eighths. So we've got to change that to 15 so hopefully that doesn't affect the pressure too much but right let's crack on with that look all right like I say, so obviously you had to reduce it down to three eighths and then there's 15 so got isolations in there so that's all right in there like that and then through here we're now just connecting up this toilet so I have replaced the replaced the um, flush valve um, with a little handle so we've got small down big up and then we're just connecting that onto that there, and then we should be should be done onto the next one after that, hopefully. Twelve seconds later. Okay, so got this done, but sadly, this is leaking. So Carl at Wolseley is going to help me out. Right, so that there job is done. So a bit of a nightmare on that one. Um, dealing with lead locks and stuff is always a pain in the ass, really. Um, but um, lovely lady though, always nice. Ooh, let me adjust that. Um, all, lots of cups of tea, which is always nice. Um, really nice customer. We've dealt with them a few times. So it's always nice to try to help people out. Um, so we've done the lead lock. So we did, what else did we do? We did the the toilet we did the um taps we did the filling loop and we uh, um just changed the inside of the drain cock as well so that's all good sadly when we went to flush the toilet the back of the toilet leaks as well so we're gonna have to look at that as well 